now a pioneering bone healing technique which could save soldiers and landmine blast victims from amputation has been successfully trialled on a pet dog. The University of Glasgow teamed up with a leading humanitarian charity and found a way to print 3D synthetic bones. Claire McNeil has a story. Eva was hit by a car and her leg was so badly broken she almost faced losing it. But a scientific breakthrough meant she was given a second chance. She got a bone infection that went undiagnosed, so it was, got quite bad. Um, so they persevered with different options to try and get the leg to mend. And in the end, William, the orthopaedic surgeon here, turned to me and said, we're at the end of the road of conventional techniques. Um, we may have to take her leg off. However, there is a possibility of groundbreaking surgery. Scientists at the University of Glasgow were able to print a 3D synthetic plastic bone which they've placed inside Eva's right leg here, saving it from amputation. This breakthrough in science will now go on to help landmine victims who face the daunting prospect of losing their limbs. The £2.7 million project to create synthetic bones involved fusing a special type of plastic with growth proteins to encourage new bone tissue to regenerate where it wouldn't normally. And after it's implanted, the plastic scaffold will then biodegrade, leaving behind only newly grown bone in place. People who, who suffered blast injuries will be able to lead a far better life in the sense of being able to have more of their limbs saved after suffering uh, devastating blast injuries. It's not a full clinical trial, but it's a few cases like we've done with Eva. Uh, a few more cases in, in human patients and we hope that this will happen in three years time. Eva's surgery was a first and her story spells hope for those who've suffered the devastating effects of war and anyone else in need of bone tissue, truly living up to the reputation of man's best friend. Claire McNeil, STV News, Glasgow.